formatted, uh, this is what will actually download this Javant FX pack here. So that you just simply double click on it and install it to wherever the software is and it will patch it, uh, whether you're Mac or PC, works with both. And then what will happen is the next time you launch the Graphic Studio software, which I'm just going to bring back up onto the screen now, you'll go to the templates area and from the pop down or drop down menu here where you'll see the normal styles that you're used to seeing you'll see the new one here which is your vant so I'm just going to select it it tells us actually here above the templates that there's 696 new templates just in the Yavant range which is astonishing just short of 700 so it's loads and loads and loads and loads to have a play around and uh, with and a go at and more importantly they're all editable as well um, you, it'd be amazing if you couldn't find a template that you were actually looking for. The issue becomes that there's too many templates to search through and we need to find a way of narrowing down the search which is, is quite easy. For those uh, who've kind of been paying attention to the new things we've added over the last couple of editions of the software you'll notice that we have this little drop pop out menu here. You can also use this search facility here if you know the number of the template or, or even in the, um, the name or the, the, the code of an uh, an image you can just type it in here or multiple codes and press return and it'll just show you what you're actually searching for but this is really good over here so we can search now for if we click on this little pop-out menu by the by the tab that says your van and this is true of all our templates by the way uh, 2t is Italian for all single page and double page spreads so with a double page spread how many images do I want on that double page so it really does narrow it down now in most cases and most photographers now they're actually shooting for the product so what that means is they'll go to the bride's house, for example, they're going to do the detailed shots of the back of the dress and the hair being done, maybe a couple of shots of the champagne flutes. Um, and if they know that shooting for the product, they need four upright images, uh, they'll go into the bedroom or into where the bride's getting ready. They'll shoot those four images and that's it, they're done. They're not going to overshoot. So shooting for the product really does make sense. So I'm going to select this four images. So you'll notice that we've gone from 696 now to 87 images and double pair spreads with four apertures so we've kind of made our life a lot easier that we're only having to look through um, you know tens rather than hundreds of templates and actually I've come across this one straight away which is the one I'm looking for so if this was the getting ready kind of spread uh, then choose my images now unfortunately these aren't getting ready images uh, but these have uh, been very kindly loaned to me by Andrew Younger from Younger Photography in Plymouth just to allow me to show you how the the event templates work. So I'm going to drag these images up onto the screen and populate these apertures like this and then the usual kind of rules apply. I can kind of move the image within the aperture just by clicking on it and using this hand tool. I'm just going to bring this girl's hand back in here so it's all in place and also the other tools that uh, were available or are still available in all the other templates is still here so I'm able to use this kind of zoom or crop tool here and this allows me to kind of a non-destructive crop and then if I'm not happy with it I can recrop it even a week or a month or a year later and just next to it a lot of people don't realise that this little curly button here means that it rotates the image so we just select it within the aperture so we're not having to go into Photoshop and recrop it to get our verticals vertical so we can do that uh, on screen there so that's the page done, we can move on very quick and very easy so I'm just going to select another blank page, go back to our templates to our Yvant templates um, and I'm going to go back and search for something else. So, I mean, even as far down as 21 images per on a double page spread. So let's have a look what that would look like. There's only one, so I'm going to grab it and select it. And you can see it's kind of maybe the last page of the book or next to the last page of the book with images of people at the party or the, the after the the, the breakfast, uh, the the wedding breakfast. And so there's lots and lots to play around with. So let's just choose another simpler one. I'm going to go off something like eight images and I want to show you something else. So I'm going to drag this one onto the screen here. So this has got eight images, um, but what I want to show you is how editable it still is. So just let me grab a couple of images to populate these up here. Um, I haven't got that many landscape images, so maybe this one will work. Not very well, but for the purpose of what I'm showing you, it'll be fine. And then I'm just going to drag a couple of images in to these. Maybe not all of them, but just enough so you can see what happens. So this is a Yavant template as, as we've been talking about, but the great thing about the Yavant template is that the 
as editable as all of our other templates. And, and what that means is that I have all the power that of, of changing them and moving them and doing whatever I like to do. Now you can see with this image here, if I had the right image it would be perfect, but I really haven't got the right image here. So what I'm going to do is select it. I'm going to go to this little padlock button here, and this is the same of any object that I select. I'm going to unlock it, and I'm going to kind of grab it at the top here and resize the aperture. Now you'll notice that it resizes the aperture and then redraws the image within it. It doesn't affect the aspect ratio of the image, so we're not squishing it or, or making making it look a little bit dumpy or anything like that. So we're able to edit uh, all the images like that. If I, if I wanted to unlock any of these and move them or even delete them completely, it's not a problem. So may, maybe this is me being artistic and and, and kind of moving the couple out, or maybe I just don't have the images. So that's them. Now, what about this image here? Exactly the same applies. I can select it, unlock it, move it. You can see our smart guides kicking in there to show me when we're on the center of the page, and uh, you know we've got we're, we're aligned with other things. So that's fine. And over here, the background. Uh, you can see that it's it's an unlockable background. So that allows me to move it. It's just a shape or an object that's on the screen. I can hit the backspace key and, key and get rid of it completely. And then I can also do things like you've seen on kind of other pages. So let's say we wanted a background image. So I say this one here. I put it on a place out of the background. You notice I didn't drop it into any part of the template, just onto the background. I'm going to make it a double page spread. Pressing this button here. I'm going to reduce some of the opacity to make it kind of a background image. I'm going to let's make it a black and white. Now, you can't see because it's appeared on my other dual screen, but I can make that black and white by using the selection. I'm just going to resize this for a second to show you something else. Okay, and let's move this one over here. Something like that, maybe. I know it's not the perfect page, but I just want to show you that the uh, Yvan template is editable. So we've edited it. Maybe we like this template for the future. So now we go to Templates. We go back to the event um, drop down here and follow it down and go to personal. And this is our personal template. So now, once we've applied or going to personal, by the templates, there's a little plus button appears here. So I can select it and I can give it a name. And let's call this one the event, the event four or five. So I've given it a name, whatever name you choose to choose, call it, and press OK and then you'll find that it appears down here. So what that means in the future, if I just add another double page spread in, uh, when I want to, or if I want to use this template, or I've got a number of templates, in fact the whole album uh, designed already, pre-designed down here, I just simply drag the template on that I want to use. Let's go back to our images. We're going to select a different image this time, this color image, but it rem it's applied the changes to the template and not the images, and it remembers that. So it remembered that this was a black and white with the, with the images desaturated. Now, obviously, the girl's kind of facing the wrong way or the, the template's in the wrong place, but I'm just going to flip that image around like that, so that's better. And uh, then it's just a matter of kind of populating the images, uh, the apertures. So I'm looking for the landscape image. Let's go back to this one. And like this. So again, we very quickly and very easy. Uh, we've we've changed it. But the cool thing about the templates is that because the changes were made to the template, not the images. When I select this template now, I can go back to make the image instead of a black and white. Go back to a color image just by pressing a button, and I can also increase that opacity because even that's still editable. So that's the power of the templates. So going back to your advance again, not only have you got um, six hundred and 96 different templates, but you've also got the power to do whatever you like to them and make the changes that you want as well. And you can have some real fun as well. And as I say, once you've edited and changed the template, you can um, save it and use it again in the future. So that's it for uh, your van templates. Uh, I hope you have fun with them and I'm sure they'll help with your workflow. And as you can see with a couple of them as well, they've even got kind of text areas that you're able to put text on as well. There's a big question mark on mine because. Um, um, I'm just missing a file, so but uh, when you download it, that'll work fine. So yeah, able to um, do anything you want with these templates. So I hope you have a lot of fun, and as I say, I hope it uh, it quickens your workflow. Enjoy.